Hi everyone, my name is Kurt Hagman, Supervisor from 4th District, San Bernardino County. We're happy to be here today with Action Embroidery, who is our business of the quarter. And Ira Newman's our manager here. It's always a pleasure to see you. I remember coming back here a while ago doing a sure. special on nice Veterans Day. Very, very and nice what a great sense of history we have here in this business and what you do for our military, really. Action Embroidery was founded in 1943 by Mr. Harry Silna. In 1986, his son Ozzy, who came into the business in the 50s, moved the business to Ontario, California, where we currently have approximately 150 employees working for us 24 hours a day, right now, six days a week. We are providing U.S. military patches for the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and Coast Guard. And everything that we do here is made in the USA. There's actually a congressional act saying that the military uniform has to be made in the United States. Very true. Which is great. And uh, we're going to see some of the machines we have here. They date back the 1950s. We have some machines from the 1950s. We have two old ones that date back to the late 1890s that are turn of the century over machines. Over 100 years old. These over things are 100. still, still producing. running. We have to machine our own parts for them, but they are still manufacturing product for us, just the way they did back then. That's fantastic. And what you do here, you have a 20,000 square foot facility, if I remember correctly? Correct. And you have shifts going throughout the day. We have about 150 employees currently working 24 hours a day to meet the demands of the military as well as our commercial customers. But it's a great family history. It's, uh, it is. What we all want to be is, is to have the land of opportunity, and uh, they were immigrants as, as well. And, exactly. His, and his dad left uh, Eastern Europe in the 1930s to immigrate to Palestine. He became a U.S. citizen when he came over here. That's great. Well, let's go see how this is done. Sure. sure. The machines that we have here, Kurt, are Japanese automatic embroidery machines. We're only making 15 or 18 patches at a time compared to 500 on our automatic loom. Production of this compared to that, as far as time or probably on a factor of seven to one, we can make it seven times faster on that machine than we can here. Okay, all right, this is the way you explained to me is your this is one you do most volume with. Right? This is one of our workhorse machines. It's 15 yards long and it can produce between 490 to uh, 190 patches depending on the size. Okay, here. We're in our finishing department here where we put the final touches on our patches before they leave and, and go out to the military. It's a lot of pride here, and I know the men and women in uniform are always very proud of their uniform. Very true. Um, yeah, very and cool. our employees take pride when they're watching TV and they see our armed forces in uniform. They know that that's our patch, that's our patch, and all the other patches on here came from here. It's a nice feeling. I match one of the guys who wears this uniform as well. So I appreciate having the quality that you have. So thank you for doing it. And I write, this, you brought a great chip here. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the County of San Bernardino, we're going to show it out here to the cameras. We want to uh, say congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you, sir. But thank you and congratulations for being the business of the quarter. Yeah.